Is this Amazon? No, this is Sainsbury's. They're like the same color, right? This like orange logo. Hi there guys, what's up? So, now I'm headed to this Amazon event that is about uh, how to implement voice technology. I'm a big fan of Amazon Alexa, and obviously, I, am I not in focus? I'm, am I in focus? Anyway, um, and obviously I do tons of podcast related stuff, so it's gonna be really interesting to speak to the developers there and maybe actually figure out <laughs> first the difference between uh, Alexa skill and Alexa briefing. Uh, and then also just how to how to start your Alexa skill, how to start your Alexa briefing, and then some stuff like where to store your episodes, like what programming language to use. I have a super busy day. Just had a meeting with. Uh, sorry, no, I didn't have a meeting. Did I have a meeting? No, I was. To oh yeah, I was speaking to my technology and justice professor. I have a presentation to do for Friday and also I have a formative essay for taxation of wealth for today so this, is this Amazon? no this is Sainsbury's they're like the same color right this like orange logo um, uh, so yeah I am really curious to see what Amazon has organized and here in their Holborn offices which I've never been to I've been to their Shoreditch office twice uh, for an interview was rejected twice, so um, that's that. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So I got to the Amazon offices, as always, as they do every single time. I got a very nice uh, reception and all of those things. There was this guy that took me to the like workshop room with maybe another 40 people or so from all kinds of different backgrounds and you see me just typing out some stuff I think it was some essay work, essay planning and uh, emails or something like that that was before the workshop started um, so now you're gonna see a few snippets that I managed to film of uh, one of the Amazon tech evangelists as they call themselves uh, given a brief introduction into how to build the Alexa skill and actually it was amazing because we ended up building a skill uh, right there in that room so we brainstormed and we came up with this idea and then uh, we managed to actually go through the whole process of building and publishing a brand new skill that was much easier than I thought uh, and if this is a bit overwhelming, if you are not quite uh, into voice technology and what these skills are and what they're all about and you're like, what are you talking about, uh, then please don't be overwhelmed. I will, um, you can just Google Alexa skills. These are basically apps for uh, voice devices, home assistants, etc. Please enjoy a few little snippets, a few little tricks from uh, Amazon developers on how to make your skill uh, a successful one. And any device can become Alexa enabled, right? So, a couple of examples of products that are becoming or have become Alexa enabled. So, what goes on behind a skill? There's two sides to building a skill. The first side is the voice user interface. This is where you, let's say you're a Ocado or you're building a game or you're doing something, you decide what your skill can do. So you say, uh, my users can express the following <coughs> intentions. Intent number one, add item to trolley. Intent number two, remove item from trolley. Intent number three, um, choose delivery date. Intent number three, uh, intent number four, cancel delivery. In the back end, you, ha you handle each intent. You have a handler, so every time that intent is triggered, you, it'll trigger a specific handler which handles that request. So if I say, add an item to my trolley, or add tuna to my trolley, it will trigger the add item to trolley intent that we've defined. And in that handler for that intent, I choose exactly what happens in my backend systems, I choose exactly what I have to say back to the user, so it's completely in your control, right? 
the only thing that Alexa should be seen as in this case, when, when, so when you build a skill, the only thing Alexa is, is essentially a voice interface. It will take care of digesting what the user says into an intention. Everything else is up to you. Wake word, right, or waking up the device. Then we launch a skill in our case, which could be something like Restaurant Finder or Ocado or your skill, right? Where we say open, and this is called a launch invocation because we're launching the skill. And if you and if you open a skill like this, right? And there's other alternatives to starting it, like launch, start, begin. This will trigger a launch request, right? Not an intent. It will trigger a launch request. So basically, a I'm just opening the app. I haven't decided what to do yet. So the typical response in this case is a welcome message, giving an idea to the user of what of what you can do. But there's also another way of opening this code, which is using a one-shot invocation, where you invoke the skill and give it a command at the same time. Right? And the part of the sentence that actually expresses an intent, we call an utterance, so what the user said. And you see how there's different ways of saying the same thing. Ask restaurant finder for breakfast, or for a good breakfast place, or to find places to eat in the morning, or spot that serves the most important meal of the day. All mean, give me a good breakfast place. Still trigger the recommendation intent, but guess what? We want to restrict it within a range. So we need that four as, as the developers to use in our backend, right? So if, and we'll see how to do this, but when you define a slot in your backend, well, in your voice interface, sorry, it'll be passed along as part of the request. So you don't need to worry about it. So slots can be words, they can be phrases, they can be numbers, they can be dates, they can be anything you want. Um, they're just pieces of what the user says that you want to process as well. And that will be passed along. And what we've done now is not just save our work. By building the model, we've actually added all of this to the Alexa knowledge graph. So if, you know, once we connect it to a backend, we can actually test it out on a real Alexa device and it'll work as long as it's linked to our account. This is looking into you, it's good to, to re-emphasize. What we're doing now is creating a back Sorry if it's a bit inconclusive, I couldn't really film the whole time. There is quite a lot to go over, so um, on this channel I will be documenting my journey of trying to uh, build skills and briefings, etc. So I will try to break some of those concepts down. So yeah, then I basically had some super delicious food. Uh, might have or might have not stolen a few water bottles from Amazon and went back to the library. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, love you guys very much. Stay healthy.